How many times have we said this? By almost every measure, red states run by Republicans beat blue states run by Democrats. Well, it's now official. Moody's Analytics has crunched the numbers. The red states' win is dramatic. 11 of the 15 best performers were run by Republicans. Eight of the 10 worst states were run by Democrats. The biggest winners were Florida, Texas and North Carolina. The losers, California, New York, Illinois. Strange, isn't it, that the governor of California thinks his performance makes him presidential material. Gavin Newsom's ad, which ran in Florida, says, join us in California where we still believe in freedom, end quote. And the governor of Illinois, billionaire Democrat J.B. Pritzker, is also now considered a possible White House contender. All right, let's move on. How come the red states are winning? Well, first, look at the response to COVID. Democrats, oh, they just love those masks, vax mandates, social distancing, and remote learning in schools. And they kept all the restrictions in place as long as possible. No wonder so many people chose freedom for themselves and their children and got out. Don't forget taxes. In the 10 states that lost the most people, the average state income tax was 8%. There is no state income tax in Florida, Texas, Tennessee, or Nevada. What Moody's is describing is the biggest shift in people and money in at least a generation. And in my opinion, policy is at the heart of it. Democrats are top-down authoritarians. Do this, do that, pay more tax and shut up. No wonder they're losing.